Hello and welcome to the calculator guide video on finding the area under a graph using a Casio FX CG50. Two examples in this video of drawing the graph of a function and then using the FX CG50 to find the area that is under the graph but above the x-axis between certain limits. Let's take a look at the first example here. The diagram shows a sketch of the curve with the equation and then we've got y equals 3x plus 4 over x squared minus 6 where x is greater than 0. We've just got a section of the graph shown here, so not the entire graph. The region R is bounded by the curve. You can see it there on the sketch. The x-axis and the lines x equals 1 and x equals 4. So x equals 1 and x equals 4 are our limits there. We've got to find the area of R. So the first thing is to get the calculator to draw a graph of a function here. So if we navigate down to choice five from the menu graph, and then I'm just going to use Y1 for this, in fact, for both examples that we do. And let's just input the function then. So three X plus four over X squared minus six. We won't worry about greater than zero. The calculator will deal with that element for us. Once we have inputted it there, let's press F6 to draw the graph. You can see we've got a certain degree of it displayed here. We can scroll up, scroll right to view a little bit more. And if we wanted to view even more of the graph, we can zoom out F2 and then F4, press execute. And we can zoom out to see a little bit more of the graph. Zoom back in, F2 for zoom, F3 for in and execute and we're back to our previous view of the graph. Now we want to know about this area between one and four that's under the graph but above the x-axis and we can use the facility within the FXCG50 to help us find that. If you press F5 for G solve and it's not on the first page so we need to press F6 to scroll to the second page you can see here we've got the function well basically an integration function integration dx we've got this so let's press f3 and for this first example we're going to choose the first option here f1 and then it'll ask us to select our lower limit now what you can do you can use left and right to scroll along the graph to get to the x coordinate that you want as your lower limit if you choose to however if you already know it and want to get there quickly what you can do is just press the x theta t button here and that will prompt you for your lower bound. So in this case, it is one. So we've got one in as our lower bound. Select upper limit value. Well, let's just press X theta T again and input our upper bound, which is four. Press execute. And you can see here that the calculator has shaded in the region. That is a correct display of the region R from the function. We've got a lower limit of one and upper limit of four and we can see that integrating between those two values we've got 7.5 as the area under the graph there you can of course use the integration feature within run matrix to do the same if you wanted to and that would give you the answer of 7.5 but i think it's quite interesting to draw the graph and to see it visually here as well to see what area we are finding and we can achieve the same result Let's take a look at the second example that we've got. We're going to do something slightly different here. So the graph shows a sketch of part of the curve with the equation y equals x, x minus 4, x plus 1. And you can see from the sketch there, the finite region shown shaded is bounded by the curve and the x-axis. Find the total area of this region. So let's just take a look at the sketch. You can see it's divided into two areas here. We've got this region from minus one to zero on the x-axis, which is above the x-axis. And then this region here from zero to four, which is below. Uh, we know that when we integrate here, the region between minus one and zero would give you a positive value and between zero and four would give you a negative value as it's below the x-axis. Now the calculator can compensate for that. So we can do this in one complete calculation let's just have a look how if we're going from our previous graph then you just need to press exit 
and then scroll up to our function there let's just delete that so it's f2 delete f1 yes and let's write it in our new function so it's x and then a set of brackets set of parentheses x minus 4 and then another set x plus 1 and execute and then f6 to draw we can't see much initially here so let's scroll down and you can see it looks a little bit like the sketch the graph is uh, a lot deeper really it goes down a lot further uh, than the sketch does if we zoom out maybe we still can't quite see the bottom of uh, the uh, region under the graph there we could if we liked alter the scale of the y-axis here to fit more on the screen so it looked a little bit more like the sketch but as we're just focusing on finding the area then we'll keep it as it is and we'll just focus on completing that particular task so we want this region here at the top and this region included as part of the area that we need to find in the question so let's go back to our integration feature so it's f5 for g solve f6 to go to the next page and then the integration feature now on this screen what we're going to select is f4 for mixed because we've got some above the x-axis and some below the x-axis so press f4 and again now we just want our lower and upper limit so we want the lowest value as part of the area which is in fact negative one which is what we're currently on if we weren't on the value that we wanted we could press x theta t and then input negative one here that's our lowest bound and then we're after the upper limit again this is the furthest upper limit that we have on the right hand side there well it's going to be four you've got here a result one of the roots is four x minus four being part of the factorized form of the equation so one of the roots is four that's going to be the upper bound for our integration so upper bound of four and we can see that we've got all that region shaded in now uh, similar to the sketch obviously the graph on the calculator has um, a more stretched out y-axis there so it looks like it's a bit longer now we've got two results here now what we're interested in is the result on the right which has got essentially um, a little trapezium there to indicate that that's the area and we can see that that's got the value of 32.75 so that is in fact going to be our answer then that is the total area under the graph that's the sum of both the areas or the absolute value of both the areas added together you can see the other result there from integrating well we know the very small area at the top there will have a positive value and then this larger area underneath the x-axis will have a negative value well that's a positive plus the negative so we end up with this negative value and of course this isn't the entire area essentially it's it's the large area with the smaller area added on if you can imagine that there so essentially the difference between the two areas there and, and that isn't what we want in this case we want the total area, which is the area indicated by the little trapezium sign there. So 32.75 is our final answer for that. And I think it's quite a good way of doing these mixed areas where you've got some above and below the x-axis because if we were perhaps using the run matrix method, we'd have to think about doing two separate calculations, one for between minus one and zero, one for between zero and four, and then adding the absolute value of those two together to get the total area. Here, the calculator has kind of done it in one go for us, so very useful for these mixed areas. Don't forget to like and subscribe for future videos, but that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time on The Calculator Guide.